Hello everyone and welcome back to the Whisper DCS channel. I am Whisper. Today I'm going to be continuing on with my weapons tutorials for the F-16 and today we're going to be doing Mavericks. So under my right wing I have an AGM-65D which is the smaller warhead IR guided Maverick and under my left wing I have the AGM-65K which is the larger warhead TV guided Maverick. Um, these are good for moving targets, anything like that, lightly armored to medium armored vehicles. With the larger warhead, you can take out some good sized tanks and things. Um, I think I got a T90 or something down there that we're going to be blowing up today. Um, you are, we will be using the teapot a bit to find targets and things, um, but mostly it's going to be do, done with the weapons page and designating targets like that. So again, like we, with the um, GPUs, we're going to be needing uh, field of view button. We're going to need um, our radar cursor switch, their axis for that, whatever you're doing, weapon release. Um, and you can use missile step if you have multiple. We're not going to be doing that because I just have one on each wing. Uh, We'll need DMS switch down to make our various MFD pages and um, things soy, sensor of interest, um, and target management switch up to designate targets. So, one thing I think I forgot to mention in my previous video, which isn't, which whatever, uh, if you didn't know, if you have a T-Pod, you need to make sure if it's a cold start and you've rearmed with it, you need to um, turn the right hard point switch on there so that you have power to it but anyway first thing we want to do master I'm on we are gonna press our air to ground button that's two on the keyboard I think or you can set your own keybind I have my own keybind you have an AGM 65k here which is that one power is already on if you did rearm then you're going to have to um, you're gonna have to change it to you're gonna have to powered on and there's a bit of a warm up for it. We're going to change this to pre-plan mode. I think we'll do that. AGM 65D, same thing. We'll go with this first. Uh, on our left MFD, we want to set FCR to, or click the OSB under FCR, change this to weapon. Uh, we're going to want to do DMS down to make that soy take control of that. I already have a waypoint near the target. It will automatically slew to that or to basically to your selected waypoint I think or where your targeting bot is looking. Uh, field of view, zoom in. It's not an excellent field of view, I know. Um, so we'll try and get a little bit closer. And I'm going to descend a bit actually as well. First of all what I'm going to do, what you can do, is change this one to TGP DMS down, set that soy, so we can zoom in and try and actually find where our target is. Oh, there they are. Just set that to white hot. So we know that they're a bit across the river there. DMS down again. And you can see, I have the teapot soy. As I move this, it's going to slew that around. So we have better field of view with this. We can zoom in, we can find targets, we can even put a point track on this. Um, and you can see on our the weapon page with our um, Maverick, you can see now that it's slaved to where we're looking. So we'll set the Maverick soy again. We'll unpause this. And we can even... Now we're too far away to designate it still. So we'll get a little closer. I'm going to descend a bit, start getting right on to that. I think this is a BTR-80 that we have here. Once we get a little bit closer here, you can press TMS up, designate that. You can see it's kind of vibrating a little bit. We are in zone, so we can press a weapon release, rifle, and we'll just designate our teapot here. I typically do this in pre plan mode so I can use the targeting pod. You can use Viz, I will be perfectly honest. I don't really know what the different modes do and how to use them, but this works for me, it'll be able to get weapons on target and blow stuff up. So this is what I do, and you'll see that it's effective. So we're just going to wait here for our Mavic to hit. I'll open this up with my F1 so you can see that a little bit better. And 
and there's a shack. That is one XPTR. Now, we will come set this here, we'll press and get back to our Smiths page. Uh, and we will set this to our AGM65K. We have over here, sorry I had to mute my microphone, there's a very loud motorcycle going by and I have my window open. Um, anyway, we will do the same thing again, set this to the targeting pod, you have that soy already. We'll just get a bit of distance here because we're pretty close to it and I want to have time to be able to do what I'm trying to do. So we'll just get up here a few miles away, we'll just look into burner, I got a ton of gas. Just for this mission, I'm not going anywhere. So you can see the bottom part of the hut there, seven miles away. I like to get about ten miles away just so I have enough time to do my targeting. And for the sake of this tutorial, it'll give me a little extra time. That's good enough. Get your 6G pull or so, get back around here. We still have our targeting pod soy. I'm just gonna go into autopilot here, altitude hold. We can come around here, find this target, it's a nice juicy T90. Designate that. DMS down again. And now we have our other, uh, our weapon page soy. Field of view button, zoom in on that. TMS up, designate that target. I'm get a nose down here, you don't have to, but I'd like to so I can see it. Weapon release, there's a rifle. We'll pull off here, so we're not going to overflat the target. Make that so we again. Do this so you can see a little better. That's a shack. I'll wait for this smoke to clear a little bit, see, so we can get some battle damage assessment. You can see that one's smoking, and that one's definitely destroyed. So I hope you found this informative and useful. It's probably a little bit more straightforward and quicker than the um, using the GBUs, to be honest. But you know pick your poison, whatever you like to do. I hope this was useful. Um, I hope I didn't go too quickly, I know, because I'm just, I'm used to doing it. I can be easy, sometimes too easy for me to just go a little fast, um, but pause, rewind the video, watch it however many times. This is supposed to just kind of be a quick little, just how I do it, how to get it done, how to get some weapons off the rails and onto some foreheads. Um, but yeah, hope you found it informative. I hope you will tune back into future videos. Consider subscribing, I really would appreciate that. I'm trying to grow my YouTube more um, and do more with that. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, check out a lot of content that I do and um, shenanigans and things that I get into with my friend uh, Jimbo VR. You can also check him out on YouTube. I will have my Instagram and his YouTube channel linked in the description. But I hope I see you again and I hope you found this useful. So thank you.